What is going on guys, Tizwava here, and welcome back to some more Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon. Now last time we left off, we met up with, uh, whatever her name was over there at that mansion, I forgot her name already. <laughs> but, uh, we, we talked to her and she wants us to go get, like, her mom's journal or whatever, we need to go investigate, like, what happened to that lucky guy, who didn't seem so lucky because his second arm got chopped off and sent to us in a box, which was crazy. <laughs> but we also need to, uh, you know what, I might as well just read this thing here. Pick up Lucky's trail at the Sprat Shack. You've been tasked with finding Dr. Olivia Ambrose's old journal, which contains valuable information from the days before Gorgon's downfall. Yeah, I remember there was like a Spacer's Choice like like outpost or like a research lab or whatever here on Gorgon. Or I don't even think we're on it just yet. I think we're still at the uh, the Ambrose like asteroid or whatever. I don't know where we're at right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, we need to go investigate this place a little bit. Pick up the trail where Lucky's investigation left off. He spent some time at the Sprat Shack. A tavern on Gorgon. That would be the place to ask around for clues. Yeah, let's definitely do that. So let's go over to the little terminal over here. Pfft, whatever it's called. Go to Gorgon and let's go to the Gorgon landing pad. Boom. I'm like, we're already uh, in orbit above Gorgon right there, right? So like, we really move too much. Anyways, let's just go out and uh, I suppose we'll have the same companions. What do we have? Uh, yeah, we had Felix and Vicar Max. So I don't think that really matters. We can just continue on with them. No problemo. And let's go to Gorgon. Gorgon, basic. Oh, Apex didn't read that. Whoops. Queso atmospheric dome. I've never seen one in person. Magnificent. Yeah, I guess that's what we have here. A big, huge dome above us because we're on like a big asteroid or something crazy. Here's a landing terminal or whatever. Acceptable margins of safety, sheesh. I think up there, isn't that where we just were last episode? Yeah, that's where uh, Ambrose Manor or whatever was, I think. Either that or something else, I have no idea. But either way, yeah, oh, oh, speaking of sprats, there's a sprat right there. Don't think I want to kill it, though. I think it might be leading me to somewhere. Is it going, is it leading me to somewhere? I don't know. I need to find this sprat shack, though. Yeah, everything over here is branded with uh, Spacer's Choice, of course. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There it is right there, actually. <laughs> sprat shack lead. Yeah, just go over there, and I guess... Oh, and then there's, like, the moon man right there. Still, like, moving around and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. I guess we'll see what's... Now, how do I... Wait, hold on. How do I get up there? I don't know. I guess supplies, if you need them, no one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. Who? Who said that? I don't know who said that. I don't know where that came from. Oh, wait, hold on. This guy. What in the world? I didn't even see... <laughs> Is it me or he didn't even make any noise right there? Can I talk to this guy? K Khalil Survival Goods Discovered. Let's see what he has to say. You looking for supply, stranger? Let's stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. Yeah, I didn't really, uh, I didn't know if his voice was, like, glitched out because I didn't hear anything right there. <laughs> Must have been, like, really faint or something. Man, might as well talk. He's, like, the <laughs> I take it that the evacuation alarm isn't urgent. Yeah, he's just sitting around not really doing anything. He's probably going to be like, yeah, that alarm's been going off for years. No one, no one, no one cares about it. <laughs> Let's do number three. I take it that evacuation alarm isn't urgent. Huh? Oh, you don't got to worry about that. It's got something to do with that scrapped Spacer's Choice project from way back. Damn, alarm's been hollering at us for five years if it's been a day. You know, I don't dream anymore. It's all, please evacuate in an orderly fashion. <laughs> I believe you, jeez. That's been going off for five heckin' years now. Jeez. Should I turn it off? I bet if I turned it off, he'd be kind of like, like dumbfounded. Like, oh God, what do I do now? It's like everything's so quiet and silent <laughs> without the second alarm going off for literally five years. I don't know if I'll do no one though. I'm impressed Spacer's Choice built something that lasted so long, exactly. What if he moved away from the incessant alarm? Yeah, like I said, he's probably like used to it by now. Sheesh. Did you forget how to walk, or are you too dumb to think to stand up? <laughs> Jeez, uh, which one do I want to do? You know what? Maybe, uh, you know what? Maybe I will do number one. Should I turn it off? I wonder if I actually can. I won't stop you if you want to have a go at it. But so you know, it's gonna take more than giving that control terminal a good old-fashioned pummeling. I know, cause even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. And I seen that tough son of a gun throw a man clean across the Sprat Shack one time like he were a toss ball. Hmm. So I, I thought this whole place might have been abandoned, but yeah, I guess the Sprat Shack still has people in it. And maybe one of those people has something to do with the heckin' arm getting cut off from Lucky, right? Let's see. So what have you got for sale? I guess I could do that last. So this is Gorgon telling me about- Yeah, let's, let's see if he has any information about Project Gorgon. 
only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big hurry. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. Ooh. All right, let's do number two. Let's try and learn a little bit about Gorgon. Maybe we'll learn more about the people actually in the Sprat Shack. But uh, from this guy, I might as well just get as much as I can from him. You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> Me too. Heard it was wild here and couldn't resist. Trouble is, if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be, like way out in Gorgon's farthest reaches, odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets. If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack, unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten. Hmm, limbs being torn off, that sounds familiar, but the eaten part, no. Because that, that, was, that was a part of the package, so clearly the arm wasn't eaten. I don't fancy that at all, thanks, but I can handle myself. Give him your best unimpressed look. I'll do that one. <laughs> On second thought, who needs my advice? Just be sure you watch out for the Marauders. That's the number one thing. Oh, and the Mance. You watch out for Marauders, Mance, and Charles from Accounting, and you'll probably be fine. <laughs> Whoa, Charles from Accounting? Okay, I can take on the Marauders and the Mantisaurs, but whew, this accounting guy, I don't know if I want to deal with him. Let's see, who's this Charles from Accounting guy? Only the meanest marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't joking. He'll snap you in half like stale bread noodles. Well, thanks for the warning. You're making me hungry. <laughs> He's welcome a try. Yeah, you're making me hungry there, friend. I guess I have to buy something. Sorry. Been a minute since I last ate. Charles from Accounting is like... Imagine if you took three of the most howling mad marauders you could find and mashed them together. That's Charles. So he's got the strength of three men? Zero times... <laughs> zero times three is still zero. Pretty sure I've done that before. Maybe I can be a savage and be, yeah, number two. Zero times three is still zero. It is? Wow. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Whoa. You ain't listening to me, huh? Well, I warned you, if you run off and get exploded to death by a madman with a rocket launcher now, that's on you. <laughs> All right, go back to the part about the rocket launcher. Uh, about Char Wait, didn't I just ask about Charles from accounting? Yeah, I guess I'll ask about the rocket launcher, then we'll trade with him if we can. Sure, okay. He's got a rocket launcher. How did he get a rocket launcher? This sounds new, don't we? Yeah, I don't think we've had a... We had a grenade launcher, didn't we? I think so. But I don't know about an actual rocket launcher. That might be a new uh, weapon here in this DLC, you guys. Let's see, how did he get a rocket launcher? Couldn't say. He kills anyone who gets close enough to ask. Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. That's my two bits on the matter. Well, this video's demonetized already. Alright, let's just trade with him then. Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type. Nah, I don't need that garbage. Oh, he's, yeah, there's that pickaxe right there. Four thousand. How many do we have now? Oh, we have. Wait, what? How do we have only 1993? I thought we had way more than that. Maybe we got a lot of it at the very end, but that was like the end of the heckin' game, so we didn't get to keep it. I don't know. Either way, jeweled ring, bunch of garbage here. Oh, yeah, what about the. It's been a 26% discount. For what? I guess I'm just friendly with this guy, I suppose. I don't know what my, what his uh, affiliation is. So I don't know why I have such a good discount right there, but uh, I don't think he's part of Spacer's Choice, is he? And I don't think I have that good of a reputation with Spacer's, Spacer's Choice. I don't know, I'll have to check. It's been a while though, like I said. Either way, Whisper Quiet, Muzzler, Gyrosite, Sure Grip, and Speed Grip. Yeah, I'm not crazy about any of that stuff, honestly. And then he has no armor. He does have some weapons. Uh, like, whoa, Light Machine Gun Mark Three. We've only ever seen a Mark Two before. Tactical shotgun too. He's got a scythe over here too. But that's twelve hundred buckaroos right there. What do we have right now? I think we have a Mark II, but I, I, I think it might be in our hot bar. So, old reliable. Yeah, there's old reliable. Uh, but that, I'm like, I'm not using that. Claw rake. Why do I have this? What? Sell it? Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I might as well sell all my junk if I even have any. Boom. I guess I sold some stuff right there. Now it's the twenty-four forty-seven bits. Yeah, I, I guess I'll see. Uh, what? Oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Sheesh. Yeah, we have it right here with, yeah, it's Mark II, 701 DPS, what? So that Mark III does, like, 900 or something like that? I guess we could see, uh, we have enough money to do it. 
maybe I will upgrade to it. Level 24. Let me see. I, I might as well buy it, you guys. Get a good, like, high. Oh, what in the world? Is he not going? Oh. Hey again, stranger. What can I get you? That was very weird. All sorts of stuff. All right, let's just skip to it. All right, well, let's go to the weapons. Let's see. What was it again? Uh, oh, it was a level 30. Yeah. Whew. Mark 3, level 31. I guess we'll buy it, you guys. Let's see. Yeah. It's only going to be like half of our bits. Not that big of a deal. Oh, wait. How do I do it again? Oh, yeah. There we go. E. All right. Well, we got it. We got the new uh, gun. So I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll sell that one, honestly. Maybe we get some money out of it, I suppose. What uh, upgrades do we have for it? Oh, we don't have anything for it. I really never modified it. I guess I never did. Sheesh. Hey again. All right. Let's just skip to it. Let's just sell it. Let's just go. <laughs> let's go over here to sell it. Let's see how much we can get for it. Uh, where'd it go? There it is right there, I think. Uh, only 158. Eh, sure, why not? There you go. At least we get a little bit of our money back, right? So he, which one was it? This one? Yeah, it was this one. Whew. So we got a Mark III now, which I guess is new. I, I'm like, we've never seen it before until now. So that's good. Here's our uh, Lutometer going off here. Of course, it's like got the extended range or whatever, I think. Actually, no, I don't think this armor has it. I think that old armor we had has it. But uh, we need to get up to the Sprat Shack. And I guess just following the roads. Oh, wow, there's a lot of steel plasma carbine. I could, just, I could just steal all this stuff if I wanted to. I'm like, he's looking completely away. Yeah, what, I'm not going to do it right now, though. Whisper Quiet Muzzler. We can steal that. What's back here? It's more storage or uh, rearranged mining helmet. Oh, yeah, aren't those, like, worth money? Or, like, oh, I think they just have a lot of... Uh, Armor rating or something like that. Bolt of pistol, bit cartridges. I could just steal that, huh? Yep. Pick that for one second. Yep. Steal those bit cartridges. Oh, I just stole all of it right there. Whoops. It's been a while. <laughs> Hulking cranial helmet, heavy ammo. I'll uh, steal all that stuff. Sure, why not? Oh, why'd you guys open up the door? What's wrong with you? Get out of there. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hurry up, Felix. What are you doing? Come on. Can I close the door and make it look like we weren't even here? I'll take that, too. Yep. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right. Oh, is this an elevator? I think we I think we have to use it to go up to the Sprat Shack. Seems like it, at least. You know what? I'm going to sheath my weapons, at least for right now. There you go. Is that a robot? It is, but it's like in the charging stick. Serialized Law and Organization Guardian. <laughs> That's one way to put it, I suppose. <laughs> is this openable? Oh, this is an elevator, but it's like... It's like an elevator shaft, so there's not an elevator for me to ride there, unfortunately. What's this? Algae logger? Another one right here. Spectrum vodka. Geographic scanner, Adreno. Yeah, I, I guess if anything, I'll just sell those, get some money. And uh, that's empty. What? And here's the Sprat Shack. All right, I guess we go inside of it. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I don't think we've seen any uh, intact vending machines just yet. So these ones are completely tipped over, broken. Transition into the Sprat Shack. Okay, I guess you can't just walk in there. Hmm. Let's go in here and let's... Oh! Come here. Seems rather big. Let's have a chat. Who's this guy, Von Hoffman? Uh, I don't remember who that guy was. It sounds somewhat familiar. What's this armor parts? <laughs> I steal that. Don't want to chat? Fine. You're on my list now, bub. What? Okay, I'll talk to you then. <laughs> All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. All right. I'm staring. Oh, he blinked. He blinked. He lost. I'm going to keep looking at his eyes. Good. Look up. Now look down. All right. You know what? I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm just going to do number three. Keep looking. You have pretty eyes. Thank you. Got them from my mother. <laughs> You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. <laughs> I'm bragging. Captain of the unreliable. Alex Hawthorne. Ne'er do well. Eh, I'll, I'll do number one. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. Ooh. What did you mean when you said people had changed? Yeah, that's something that uh, caught my attention there. Where exactly am I? Let me ask you something else. That's probably to bring up a uh, lucky Montoya about his arm and all that stuff. Maybe ask if he knows him. But I, I'm kind of intrigued about the whole changed thing. Let's see what he has to say about that. Let's do number one. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. What happens when people change? Where exactly am I? Let me ask you something else. Yeah, let's just continue on with number one. First, they get real twitchy and paranoid. 
shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. <laughs> After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Wonder if he knows anything about the whole lab situation with Spacer's Choice. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Where exactly am I? Let me ask you something else. Let me do number two. Just don't ask me to dance. <laughs> uh, what do you do around here? What kinds of people come to a sprat shack? What do you know about Gorgon? I can't ask anything about Lucky Montoya, unfortunately. At least not right now. Hmm. What do you do around here? I'm like, he, I see, he seems like some sort of security guard or something. I don't know. I guess I'll ask that. Number one. Bouncer. Bodyguard. Law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. Highest caliber of what? Is he talking about guns? Yes. Your presence screams high class. <laughs> We get a lot of brand-loyal corporate types, and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of the cutthroat freelancer type, so I guess that counts me in, huh? What kinds of people come to a Sprat Shack? I'm like, he kind of said that, so... I don't know if I need to bring that up. And what do you know about Gorgon? I guess I'll do number three. Something bad happened here. Spacer's Choice was developing chemicals. The kind with nasty side effects. Whoa. Can this colony have one research facility developing something without horrible, face-melting side effects? Is that so much to ask? Marauders outnumber the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. Alright. I don't know if I'll do number two, honestly. I'll, I'll see you around. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, I don't think that information is really, uh, necessary. He kind of, he kind of brought it up. Or, oh, oh. this looks like a real dive. Hey, I wonder if they got those floorboards that creak when a stranger walks in. A true den of iniquity. How refreshing. I don't even think they have floorboards. Like, everything's, like, all made of metal and grates and stuff like that. I guess we're going downstairs now. Let's go talk to, uh, Lex or whatever that guy's name is. I, I guess he would probably... Oh, look at that. There's actual people. Bar patron. Bar patron. There's actual people here, so that's good. Seemingly normal people. Yep, that's a normal person, all right. <laughs> at least you're in a bar, all right? It's, uh, is this Lex? Yep, Lex. Let's talk to you. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? Whoa, you won't even water it down? I'm not used to that taste. <laughs> Wine, make it purple berry. I'm in a chipper mood. Yeah, don't we have a purple berry blaster or something like that? Something like I don't know, I kind of want to get the- let's do that one. Just because of memes. <laughs> Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Sure, got any leads? Let's do that. Lie 60. See if we get- I can pass this skill check here. Even if I did, I ain't supposed to play favorites. Man? Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Boy, here we go. Now we can ask about Lucky Montoya. Yeah, we don't have that good of a reputation with sublight right now. Because, uh, you know, we killed their leader. Or what? Did we kill her in this universe? I forget. Because I know we killed her in one, I don't know if I like reloaded the save and then left her alive or whatever in this ultimate, I don't know. I don't know, either way, bad reputation with them. <laughs> Let's just ask about Lucky Montoya. Do you know anyone by the name of Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little... dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. Hmm, that's good to know. Office of Creative Incubation just down the road. Go on, Office of Creative Incubation. Did he tell you anything about my job? Ah, or about the job? What do you mean by dramatic? I might as well ask about this Office of Creative Incubation, because I'm probably going to go there, like, right now. That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Whoa. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. Forget the story, where it was Lucky staying. Yeah, what happened? Because I have one of his arms right here. <laughs> you really want to hear my story? <laughs> wow, most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. 
I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Are you talking about his arm? Can't ask about that, unfortunately. Forget the story, where was Lucky Stan? Go on, I hate canid. Why not let the canid enjoy the juicy limb? <laughs> I can meme around a little bit right here. <laughs> yeah, we can meme around a little bit. Let's do number four. If the bloody piece in question was a raptodon tongue or a mantis leg, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. How'd you know it belonged to Lucky, exactly? I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. Hmm. So, so I, I guess she did his job for him? He wanted Alex Hawthorne to do this job, and then she just happened to cast his like, arm that was holding a phonograph that had this whole thing like recorded and sent it to me. Or, you know, sent it to Alex Hawthorne, and I, of course I got it, right? That's so weird. The arm made it to me. I'm Hawthorne's next of kin, sort of. Yeah, I could say that. Why bother to send the arm at all? That's, that's kind of what I... You know what? There are multiple things here I want to do. Yeah, we're just lucky staying. Hopefully, we can still do that after this next thing. Thanks for the story. I have some other questions. Yeah, we're not doing that one just yet. Sheesh. Uh, I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, let's do number one. Then we could do number two and then three. Hopefully, hopefully those are still available. But the arm made it to me. I'm Hawthorne's next of kin, sort of. No kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this uh, confluence of events, you know? The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. Yep, that's good. Let's do number one. Why bother sending the arm at all? I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Why is there no option to be like, oh, why why didn't you, like, detach the arm from the phonograph or whatever? <laughs> I guess you didn't want to touch it. It was all icky and nasty. Where it was Lucky staying, that's, that's going to be it. And I guess we'll move on to this uh, office of whatever that they came up with slogans for down the street. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just... Wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. All right. What do you do know about Gorgon? So do you run this place? How about a drink? Eh, not really interested. Let's do number four. Now I'm just going to have a look around. Come back when you're thirsty. What floor is this? It's floor one, two, and then three. Okay. Guess we'll go up. Trixie. Wait, what? And worse, a thief. Freddy and Trixie. I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle-footed dimwit. Bring it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. <laughs> I'm sure she has, like, always as a bartender, right? So this would be number two. Nice. They got balconies and everything. Surprisingly, this place exhibits an aesthetically pleasing use of space. Hmm. All right, let's go inside of his room. She said she left it open to air it out and stuff, but it's actually closed, but whatever. Oh, there's a person right here. Is he dead? Kind of went... Oh, oh! Whoa! They actually added, like, animations for people. Usually they just sit still like all the time and they look dead. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Anyways, can I- oh, you leave that, it's not even stealing, just pick it up, boom, that's mine. Focal- or focus dual tablets? I don't know what that is. I like pretty much never use these status effect things. Aged whiskey, grab that sprat thing over there, just- At least- oh, 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 here's a note, here's a note, let's see what it says. Or two notes, actually. Let's see. Lucky's case notes, and what is this other thing over here? Note about a key, several whiskeys in and a few bits short last night. Gave Lex the maintenance room key while I scrounged up what I owed, or what's owed. Note to self, pay up and get it back before you go back to OCI. I think that's the office of something something that she said uh, he goes to. Let's see what this Lucky's case notes is. Lucky's case notes. Day one. Spacer's choice may have left in a hurry, but they didn't forget to lock the doors on their way out. Most of the facilities are sealed up tighter than a top runger's safe. Time to do some digging. Day six. Caught a break today. Met a scavenger who claims to be a salesman for Spacer's Choice. Sold me a key to the Office of Creative Incubation. Let's just say this guy's about as lucid as a sprat in a Rizzo's factory. 
but I'm spending Minnie's bits so I can afford to take a chance. Day 7. It worked. Clarence mostly, whoever you are. I'm drinking to you tonight. Day 10. Olivia Ambrose's office and journal ought to be in the synthesis and manufactory center. The bad news is it's sealed up and at the butt end of a canyon. The good news is I should be able to open it up from the Big Wigs admin terminal in OCI. Ooh, okay. Hopefully I can actually keep this thing and keep referencing it stuff because this has a lot of good information. Day 13. OCI is crawling with marauders and I've got a few other leads to chase down. Could be nothing, but my gut tells me there's more to this place than a missing journal. Time to turn over a few rocks and see what crawls out. I'm leaving the OCI key in the safe. The combo is 4815. All right. What if I could actually, and oh, hey, look at that. We actually picked it up, so that's good. So we should be able to, uh, there it is right there. So we should be able to unlock with the codes. Yeah, preserved eye, what? A carefully preserved eyeball, mostly intact. Hey, don't mind if I do. Whoa. Marble. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, that's a human eyeball. If I'm not mistaken, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, that eye might be the key Lucky mentioned. What strangeness have we involved ourselves in here? Key? I have a feeling they're cigarette lighter. 250 bits. The vermin too. But don't we already have like a thousand of those? No, we just have the vermin. So here's another one right here. Level 29, 492 DPS. And don't these shoot like two or three things at a time? No, it's just one, I think. I think that might have been something else. Oh, is it this? No, that's a light pistol. Yeah, I must, it's been a while, you guys, but I have a feeling I can't open up. The, oh, I need 150 lockpick to open that up. Sheesh. I have a feeling this eye is a key because there might be like some sort of thing that like scans an iris to open up like a door or whatever. So that would be good. Either way, I guess we're pretty much done here, right? Maybe I'll go back and talk to Lex and be like, hey, why was there an, a human eye <laughs> inside of the... Uh, Inside of the thing, inside of the safe over there. And it was like perfectly intact and stuff too, so that's good. <laughs> Let's see if I can talk to her. What's your pleasure? Did Lucky leave a key with you? Yeah, we read about that. Uh, I guess I'll do that one. Let's do number one. As a matter of fact, he did. Collateral for the bar tab he was racking up. So, I guess it's mine now. And no, you can't have it. Oh, man. Is the key worth 26, 25 bits to you? I can intimidate. The only thing I can do is intimidate her and crack my knuckles. <laughs> It'd be a shame if I had to cause some trouble at your place. Or I could lie at 90. I need to check my stats. Oh, I, I got a comment saying, hey, you have the, like, you're, like, addicted to the uh, inhaler thing. I, I'm pro, I wonder if, uh, hold on. Just to show uh, oh, there's whoops. no hard feelings, what how happened? about a drink? Oh, okay, I can come back here again, okay. Good, I've got paying customers. <laughs> Let me do... What was it again? Was it this? Yes. There we go. Yeah, I think I, I might have been addicted to that, and that, that might have uh, no, decreased my stats. No, the drinks aren't watered down. Don't know why everyone keeps asking. All right, let's talk about that key Lucky left behind. Boy, when you sink your teeth into something, you really don't let go, do you? Man, I guess my lie just isn't that good. Yeah, I need to get someone else over here as a companion to help me out with that, but whatever. We could do Intimidate 90. Crack my knuckles. It'd be a shame if I had to cause some trouble at your place. Ah, there's nothing I hate more than trouble at my place. Fine. Have it your way. Here. I don't know what it unlocks, but Lucky seemed to think it was important. I take him at his word. Hmm, so we got a maintenance room key. All right, that's good. What do you know about Gorgon? Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Be seeing you. All right, I'll be seeing you, and I hold up the heckin' marble eye into her face. Or not even a marble eye, it's an actual eye that's, like, perfectly preserved or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, now we need to go, like, down the street to OCI, <laughs> which is pretty good because we have an eye in our egg inventory, and maybe use the eye to, like, open up, like, a, like, an iris scanner. Just, like, hold it up to the iris scanner, and then boom, we're in, probably, so. Ocular, oh, yeah, oh, what'd that say? Ocular verifier, yeah, exactly, like an iris scanner. So this is definitely an old- What darkness lurked in the heart of Gorgon. Captain Hawthorne and his crew were about to find out. Well, let's just hope we're luckier than Lucky was. You know what? I was thinking in the back of my mind while Felix was saying that. <laughs> that seems like a good uh, place for us to leave off until next episode, because that was a good little cliffhanger we just had right there. I guess when we come back with some more of the Outer Worlds parallel on Gorgon, we're going to be going over to... What's that called again? The OCI or something like that? I forgot what it actually stood for. Yeah, we can zoom out a little bit. But I think we're going to be going down over the here, and then we're going to be using this this eye, this perfectly preserved eye, to like scan.
scan into like an iris scanner and, and try and get into the building over there. So that'll be pretty cool. I suppose we could open up the journal again real quick. Enter the Office of Creative Incubation. Yeah, that's what it stood for. Office of Creative Incubation. That's where he came up with like slogans and stuff like that, right? You found an eyeball in Lucky's room that apparently grants access to the Office of Creative Incubation on Gorgon. According to Lucky's notes, the administrative terminal in OCI should unseal the way to Olivia Ambrose's office in the Synthesis and Manufacturing Center. Well, that's good that it puts it here in the uh, in the journal here in the quest journal, so I could actually just you know, I don't have to like read read his like notebook or whatever that he wrote down. So that's good. But of course, we're going to be doing that next time we come back with some more of the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon. So I suppose I could do my intros and outros using this idle camera here. So that's pretty cool. So <laughs> either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Hopefully next time we come back with some more of the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon. We're actually going to be trying out this new light machine gun Mark III or whatever, right? Whatever it was called. Seeing how much damage this thing does because it does more DPS than our Mark II did, right? So that's going to be pretty fun. You know, kind of balance out all this storyline stuff with some actual action, right? <laughs> I'm sure we'll come across a lot of marauders on the way there, so I'm not too worried about that. So either way, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more of the Outer Worlds Paralon Gorgon. Oh, bye there. Oh!